What's up, everybody? It's August 28th, 2023. This video won't be posted for a couple days, but we are staying at the Vintage Inn Resort, right next to the best coffee shop in Big Bear, and probably the best coffee shop in a lot of different areas. It's my favorite coffee shop. It's freshly roasted here. It's local coffee. Well, I mean, it's coffee from all, all over the world, but it's completely prepared here for you guys. And say hi to the beautiful wife. Hi, guys. <laughs> okay, so the Vintage Inn. I just want to show you guys. It's right next to Big Bear Coffee Roasting Company. So every morning when you wake up, go get some coffee. And the Vintage Inn has a, a restaurant called Santana and Mavericks, which for those of you who have been to this town the past few years, it used to be right next to the Robin Hood Resort, um, but they moved it and it's right on the lake. A real private little place to go here. I never even knew that it was down here, which is kind of weird. It moved maybe about a year ago. Oh, look at the bear, see that bear? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, there's a cute bear inside this, this window. That, that better not be a real stuffed bear because I'll be really mad. Do you know what the local is? Uh, no idea. Local is someone who's from that area? <laughs> That's what that place is called. I'm going to figure it out. The local. All right. It's new. All the um, statues and stuff that they have out there are all new pieces. Those that they just got there like last year, I think it was. Oh, cool, babe. It reminds me of some of those, uh, what are those like horror uh, like Jeepers Creepers type stuff that we watched. I know. One of the episodes had that exact same yeah. same thing. Anyway, guys, we are at the resort right now. And for you to check in, you go right through that door straight ahead where it says Office Lodge. We're actually going to walk down. We're not going to go inside. It's not called Creepers Creepers. It's the Creep Show. The Creep Show. Yes, Creep Show. And the lady here, Carla, is a sweetheart. So don't hesitate to come in and say hello and uh, wonderful customer service. You're going to really enjoy this place. And we haven't even looked at our room yet, you guys. So get ready. I'm ready. We are ready. Let's see this place. All right. That's me every winter. That's actually how I dance. All right. They got lounge areas with gazebos, you guys. Just chill spots. Tables across the way there. Yeah, just a bunch of little lounge areas. We're going to do our room last. I just want to show you guys the property real quickly. Again, I'm excited to do this for... A business owner up here who seems like they actually care about the tourists don't take that wrong most most of them do but I've come across as you can imagine in any city people who just don't want to contribute to the kindness and the good treatment of you guys and without you guys as you guys always hear me say I don't get to live here but let me get this gazebo area look barbecues they even have all oh cool all the equipment and everything. Let's see. Look at that big gazebo right here. Babe, that's what we need. That thing's twice the size of our that. house though. I'd love that. So would I. All right, so babe, we're gonna cut across here right now. I never realized they had an upstairs over here. I guess they did. Okay, awesome. And then as I said at the end of the driveway here, you guys are going to see this restaurant, Santana Mavericks. I used to go there to sing karaoke once in a while, but not this restaurant. Santana and Mavericks used to be, as I said, over by the village. So I never really ate there, so I can't give you guys an honest review, but I've heard a lot of good things. And 30 minutes ago, this whole parking lot right here and right here was completely full for lunch. So that's how I judge a lot of restaurants, guys, if I don't really know anything about it is I do the, what's called the parking lot test. If there's a bunch of cars in the parking lot, then that's usually a good sign. 
if you guys are going somewhere for lunch like at high noon or dinner when everyone usually eats and there's no cars in that parking lot i would recommend getting the heck out of dodge and finding yourself another restaurant but yeah so this is santana mavericks right here we're not going to go inside we'll do a private video of santana mavericks eventually but yeah and right here guys you're super close to the village walking distance from the village um, for those of you fast foodies like myself taco bell is like a nine iron away mcdonald's is about a three wood away and santana mavericks is a putter away i hit my putter very far babe. yeah baby Don't be dirty to <laughs> babe that's really inappropriate <laughs> <laughs> she is so inappropriate but yeah check this out come on babe just wanted you guys to see how close you are to the lake and in the winter time obviously you'll get a nice stream right here probably sounds so nice wow babe look at this spot wow this is really really nice this is great so let's zoom in a little bit on the lake So, oh, it's gorgeous. Kayaking is going to be so fun. We're going kayaking next Sunday, guys. I'm going to wear my GoPro on my chest mount. Mm -hmm. And we're going to so go, go enjoy some kayaking. One of our friends who works at one of the kayak rental places, they wanted us to go with them. And they told us that, hey, we're going to comp you guys everything. And We're so lucky, guys. We are. We are. We are. But, you know, being kind and doing nice things for other people without ever expecting anything in return. You know, good things will eventually come to you, sometimes quickly, sometimes slowly, but good things will always materialize if you treat people well. Look at this, just spectacular. I mean, what a view. Dave, this is something else. The park off of Park Street. Oh yeah, no way. Yeah. It is. Mm -hmm. That's right. So that's where I walked out for a live video when it was snowing like crazy in my t-shirt. This little area, I walked all the way out onto that little ramp right there, that lifted dock. But yeah, guys, this is something else. Holy moly. Hi, babe. You guys ready to go see oh see the room oh, wow. <laughs> i just almost i was about to almost have to go see a doctor <laughs> get this this view of the lake with my beautiful wife hope you guys are all enjoying your summer and doing the things that you really want to do and if you're not get up and go home. totally Totally. This life goes by quickly. As I've gotten into my early 40s, like the decades go by like that. So all you youngins out there who uh, have always heard um, all the cliches out there about like enjoy it while while you're young. <laughs> I know. I'm starting to say stuff like that, and I'm like, oh no, what did I just say? <laughs> but it's so <laughs> true. Where'd that come from? <laughs> it's so true, my young friends. Yeah, and especially you know people that are that have depression or just suffer from whatever life. Um, it's good to just get up and force yourself. I know that's hard sometimes because even I have a hard time Me too. feeling myself out of bed. Just Me mentally, I'm like, oh, I want to do all this stuff. But physically, I'm like, my body's like, it's not doing it. But if you force yourself, trust me, you feel a lot better. She and I are kind of opposites because for me, it's the mental part. Um, I, I struggle a lot, so, you know, you just got to get up, just like she said to you guys. Get up, go do it, go enjoy your life. Yeah. And sometimes starting with a shower is a, a great start. Ice cold one, right, babe? <laughs> <laughs> That'll definitely wake you. You know what? I actually heard from some tests that have been done where they uh, had a bunch of people every morning when they get out of bed, take a cold shower. And uh, it seemed like in just about every case, the people were more productive. 
Well, I heard that's bad for your heart, but I also heard it's really good for your skin, so I heard you agree. Oh, you need your heart to work or your skin doesn't matter. <laughs> Alright guys, so we're gonna... Do you want to op open the door, baby? Sure. Can okay. you carry me in? <laughs> I wish I could. <laughs> it's only because he has no muscle. It's not it's a... <laughs> She's right about that. <laughs> so, oh, number 17. I love it. Right here, I'm sold. Look at this, right when you walk in. Jacuzzi. This is all I asked. Just wish the TV was a little bigger, but the only th time we're going to be spending in this, you know, babe, let's, let's get all these lights on so we can do, do my, my real estate previewing property stuff. All right. So we get a good look. Okay, obviously you guys see a fireplace. So we are gonna be using that. And behind the door, can you shut, shut the door a little bit, babe? I think I see a microwave and coffee and a fridge. Very cool. A little nook to eat and drink. Nice. And they have this locked. It, this reminds me of a, a Hotel Hell episode <laughs> where Gordon Ramsay was not too thrilled that they had like a, a dresser that was locked in his room that he paid for. But in these situations, I totally understand. Cute bathroom. It's your standard bathroom. Let's take a look at how this shower looks. Standard, just like mine. All right, very cool, very cool. Hey babe, did we bring my pillow or? We gotta go back to the house anyway, so it's not a big deal. Okay, this is the bedroom, folks. A mighty large bed. Just cute and quaint and comfortable. Let me see. I am disappointed in the size of these teeth. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Did we go back in time here? So for all you kids, this is actually a TV. <laughs> okay, so how are you supposed to see that when you're in bed? But again, folks, your whole point of coming up to Big Bear is to get away from this stuff to enjoy the beauty and the serenity. So I'm not knocking it, I just, it's just uh, in this day and age, costs like 100 bucks for a 50 inch TV, flat screen. And just a heads up so you guys don't get any issues, uh, we used Klarna to pay for this room and the owner um, didn't want to do it. It's kind of, kind of strange because Klarna, a lot of you know, is a website where you can actually purchase stuff that you can't afford all at once. And they'll let you make payments every two weeks until it's paid off in a four week period. So that's what I did. It, it prints you out a fresh brand new credit card and you can put your name on the card and your zip code for the billing and stuff. But because I didn't have the physical card, uh, it, it almost was an issue, but she wanted me to let everyone know that um, she would appreciate it if you guys didn't use any services like that. Um, although I did mention that, you know, it's, 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 it's a popular service and it will bring you more business. But again, this is her, her business, so she's allowed to run it however she wants. And it seems like they do a great job. I've heard nothing but good things about this place. So, um, but I like convenience when I'm traveling and uh, ways that I can save money initially and that happens to be uh, through Klarna. So anyway, this is the hotel. Very cool, very cool. Let's see, how do we... How do we, 
Oh, yeah. Hello. This is how we used to talk on the phone, guys, when we were yeah. back in the yeah. 80s and 90s. And then other people in the house, Way could, back before then too. they could pick up the phone and listen to your phone call. Oh, I hated I that. I hated that. Jerks. Totally. All right, babe. Well, this has been an awesome experience so far. As I said, the owner's super cool. I just wanted to let you guys know that uh, they don't want to accept anything other than your your credit card, not uh, even if you have ways that you save yourself money, which are totally legit, they don't want to do that. So fair enough, fair enough. Anyway, we love you guys. We'll talk to you guys later. And thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy the Vintage Inn. And uh, yeah, talk to you soon. Everything you wanna do for summer. Like and subscribe, please, if you think we've earned it. Thank you. Take care.